Novo Sarnis was founded only two years ago as a spin-off from the University of Antwerp. This young company, active in medical technology, develops specialised devices, such as the Vax ID. This device allows to inject, for instance, vaccines into the skin, rather than into the muscle or the fat layer. Well, we know that the skin is very rich in certain immune cells. So for a certain dose, vaccine dose, we have a better immune response when we administer the vaccine in the skin compared to the muscle. That means we can lower that dose, which is an economic uh, benefit, uh, when we're vaccinating the skin compared to the muscle. And that's why VaxID has been developed. But we can use VaxID for much more than only administration of vaccines. We can also use it for administration of drugs, like uh, drugs against allergy or insulin. Thanks to the Vax ID, you can inject into the skin perpendicularly, making the injection virtually pain-free. The device has been designed in such a way that, for example, patients with diabetes are able to administer insulin themselves without the assistance of a doctor or nurse. Vax ID is a pre-filled syringe. Uh, it's a device with a smart architecture. Um, the needle is not visible. Needle stick injuries are virtually impossible. And based on clinical trials, usability is high. Over the next few years, Novosanis will bring the final product uh, to the market in close cooperation with pharma and biotech companies. But before that market introduction, we will need a number of clinical studies. It will take about two years before the first Vax ID device will be launched on the market. Colipi allows for an hygienic and easy method to capture only this first part of the urine current, because this part contains the majority of DNA, cells and proteins, which allows for detection of sexually transmitted infections, uh, such as chlamydia, but also human papillomavirus, which is able to cause cervical cancer. Next, the sample needs to be processed by the lab, uh, which is then able to detect DNA, RNA and proteins in the urine sample. Currently, Novo Sarnis is still evaluating possible partnerships with laboratories and diagnostic companies to optimally analyze the collected urine. The device will be launched on the market later this year.